Uh, hello guys and welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to implement uh, sign-in with Google uh, API. So I have two activities. The first activity is sign Google sign-in button and the second activity is uh, consists of three edit text, one image view and one button. Uh, so the first thing we are going to do we need to add permission to access the internet. So just add this line of code in uh, Android manifest XML file. Okay, now uh, we're going to open official documentation for this purpose. As you can see, there are a few uh, pre-requirements. So in order to implement this uh, API, uh, you need a compatible Android device that runs on Android 4.1 or newer. Uh, you need the latest version of the Android SDK. Uh, you need the project configured to compile against Android uh, 4.1 and you also need a uh, Google Play service SDK. So uh, to check if you have a Google Play uh, SDK, head over to settings and then uh, here on Android SDK, ID, uh, SDK tools. And uh, if uh, Google repository is unchecked to you, you need to check that and click apply. So in, in order to install this repository. Okay, now that we have that completed, uh, we need to create a configure project. So click this button. And click create project now uh, let's say this will be test project number one click next and then uh, again we can type uh, test project uh, number one to configure our O out okay now let's wait a little bit And um, let's choose from this uh, drop down menu. Uh, we need to choose Android, of course, because we're building an Android application. And now it prompts us to uh, add package name and uh, SHA 1 signing certificate for our application. So, first, let's go uh, to our Android manifest file and uh, copy our package, the full package. Okay, and paste it here in the first field. And in second uh, field, uh, I will show you how to create a SHA-1 certificate, signing certificate. On the right side, click, click Gradle, and then uh, Test Project, Tasks, and you see down uh, below uh, Run Configuration. Okay, and this Test Project, Signing Report. You just double click on that. And it will automatically generate MD5, SHA-1 and uh, more of those hashes. So you need to copy SHA-1 hash. And paste it uh, here. Okay, now click create. And there you go, we are all set. Um, now just click this down button and we can proceed uh, next. All right. Now that we have configured our uh, project, uh, we can start with the code. So uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Our project is here. That's great. And next, we need to uh, import Google um, repository and end at the end uh, dependency. So open up uh, build the uh, module. Okay, we ha I have already added the Google repository on two spots, and uh, let's add uh, a new implementation. I have already added that, but you can add as well, and just sync the project, and uh, you're all done. So after that, uh, head over to uh, this link here, and we need to configure Google signing client object like that. So just copy this code here, and we need to copy this code in our onCreate method in our main activity. Oh, uh, sorry, this is a second activity I uh, misplaced. So just click Control Z to undo this and head over to main activity 
and then paste this code here and import all those classes. Alright. Now that we have that, uh, you need to implement the sign Google sign in button in your uh, activity if you haven't already. So, down below, just copy this code and put it um, in the main activity layout XML file. Uh, okay, next we need to copy. Okay, like that. I have also the ID of that button and I uh, find found the view for that uh, sign in button as well. And next uh, we're going to copy this code down below. Google sign in client. Copy just down below and we need to create. Uh, okay, just click. Type Google sign in client and name it the same as this variable we just copied here. Okay, next, uh, as you can see, uh, it accepts two parameters. Uh, next, uh, we need to check uh, if a user is already signed in when we enter our first uh, activity. So we need to click Ctrl O and find on start uh, method. So in this on start method, we need to paste that code from uh, before, and uh, down below we need to uh, create uh, intent to redirect us to our second activity. But uh, in this tutorial, I will skip that, and um, I won't be implementing that uh, that option for now. But you can do that; it's pretty easy. Okay, I'll remove now this, and we're going to proceed to a next line of code. Okay, so we need to create the uh, on-click listener on our uh, Google sign-in button. So just use that uh, object and click and uh, use on-click method like I did. And then we are going to copy this uh, switch block inside that on-click method like it's here. Alright, let's just remove uh, and replace this V with the view. Okay, something is missing. I think it's a bracket. But uh, let's proceed next. Uh, I will add uh, one more uh, method here. Mm, okay, I'll remove this for now. And um, I'll add that later. Now uh, I will add sign in uh, method here. Uh, which. And I will add uh, this. Uh, I will create variable intent. A variable integer which will be zero you'll see now and now let's let me copy this again as well as this bracket here okay now it should work uh, remove this and replace this with the view okay uh, inside on click method we are calling our sign in method here and uh, it's starting in intent and uh, start activity for result so next uh, we need to overwrite uh, on activity result method and uh, check if uh, request code uh, is the same and uh, if it is then we are going to call the handle sign in result another method we will create so just copy this code here and uh, import this task as well and now we're going to copy this code, handle uh, sign in result. So we can have a full uh, full activity here. Alright, let's import those uh, few lines of uh, those uh, classes as well. A log. And we can. Uh, okay, sign in, there we go. Uh, we're passing uh, here two parameters, as you can see the code, and we are checking if request code is the is the same. And we are calling uh, afterwards. We are calling handle sign in result, and there we go. In this uh, block try block here, we are going to call our second activity. So let's type intent. New intent, the first parameter main activity, and the second parameter second activity class, and we're going to start that activity. If. Okay. Next, uh, let's replace this with error. 
let's remove that and uh, okay we have uh, successfully created our uh, main activity Java class so now we need to uh, configure our second activity to get uh, account information so just head over to a uh, second activity and paste this code let's import those classes here all right and I'll remove uh, two strings here because we don't need them we just need name uh, email ID and uh, user photo okay now let's um, I have already found the view of my uh, UI elements on uh, second activity so I will set the name text view to um, to the account name email text view email to account email I will do the same for the uh, for the account ID and for the photo um, okay just replace this get activity to this and um, now we are going to uh, use this uh, third-party library glide uh, I'll put the link in the description so with this um, with this uh, library we are going to okay just import this maven central and those uh, two dependencies okay when you do that uh, we can proceed next but this class uh, will uh, put the image URL in the, your uh, image view element so just sync this project like I did and then we're going to we're going to just uh, copy the code so we um, so we can save the time okay just copy this here import this glide and as you can see glide with uh, this and load we're going to type string value of and we're going to convert our um, URL of our image to a string into our image view and I think uh, that's uh, that's it for this and now uh, let's uh, create the sign out function so go back to our official documentation here and again we're going to copy this sign out method We're going to copy uh, this sign out method below our on create method. Like that, just import those classes as well. Okay. And now let's create this uh, Google, sim uh, Google sign in client object. Alright. And let's copy this code, uh, this switch block again in our uh, on click method just replace this uh, ID with uh, our button ID which is different I'll just name it button because it is and uh, let's replace this uh, V character with uh, view okay and let's remove those comments alright um, this is our sign out uh, function so uh, when we sign out, I will deploy. I will post here a simple toast message, which will say "signed out uh, successfully," and I will um, I will close this uh, second activity with uh, with method finish. Just a second. Um, okay, I forgot to. Um, to add this so I'll copy this from main activity in our uh, on create method on second activity like that and uh, I'll add here uh, in our uh, sign out method just below the toast uh, I will add finish method which will close the second activity and get back us to our main activity so there we go uh, let's run this up and when you click when you click sign in it will prompt us with uh, uh, with our gmail accounts uh, you can choose uh, one of those one of yours and when we run up again and click sign in we will automatically uh, get uh, to our second activity without choosing the accounts but when we sign out and when we try to click uh, sign in it will prompt us again 
so it means that we are signed up signed out successfully and uh, there you go uh, I hope you enjoyed this video this uh, function uh, can be pretty useful for your application uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you in the next video